Welcome to Market Matters. We have stocks with momentum with my partner in crime, Suhi Asman, and I'm Jonathan Gunn. Unfortunately, there are no stocks with momentum today. And yes, your eyes were not lying to you when you saw the ticker on uh, the edge markets when it said poor market momentum. Well, I so, think it's a bit poor. Tomorrow uh -huh. is high raya. You know, I think the market needs to be a little bit of a break. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So for uh, stocks with mo momentum today, we are actually covering uh, KESM, uh, K or KESM. Uh, a company which recently rose on the back of strong financial uh, results. So um, on the news front, basically what happened is KSM's net profit for the fourth quarter actually uh, rose 56.4% to 10.4 million. So uh, the company attributed uh, its earnings to the rise of foreign currency. Now, John, this company, right, yeah. they has a lot of, uh, it's a strong benefit of US dollars, basically, mm -hmm. because they are involved in semiconductors. Now, yeah. I know you personally likes plastics, which have high yeah. exposure to US dollars. The same thing goes to semiconductor. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I think the company has a very good prospect, doesn't it? It, it does. Actually, um, uh, the, the company actually recently announced that uh, it hit record revenue this quarter. Uh, I think some of the comments from its uh, CEO and chairman, Sam Lim, he said that uh, uh, Kesem is actually backed by solid earnings and it had a record quarter this year to the tune of $263 million in terms of its revenue. So uh, dividends paid out quite a huge sum as well, $2.6 million. Now, if you look in the H, our website, the hmarkets.com, right? The H market says that the company has a valuation score of 2 out of 3, which we think is quite good because 3 is the highest and 1 of 0 is obviously the lowest. Now, fundamental score, 2.5 out of 3. And, you know, the stock is pretty, uh, I wouldn't say cheap, but pretty reasonable, isn't it? Trading at a PE of 10 to 11 times. Now, if you look at the financial, John, now here's an interesting part. Total borrowing of 73 million ringgit, um, you know, with 55% due within one year. But that's not a cause for concern because it is in a net cash position. It has a cash value of 94 million ringgit, which is 52% of its market cap. And, you know, and I think with a solid balance sheet, you know, solid earnings, solid dividends, I think it's a good stock, uh, I, mean, I mean, to play around. Okay. But uh, doesn't concerns of uh, the... Uh semiconductor industry having a little bit of volatility worry you? you know john when i look at the latest quarterly report right in the prospects yes they also mentioned that some uh, organizations or some research houses has trimmed down the forecast for semiconductors but hey they have apple to write i mean they they, are, they have apple to write the growth with because you know um you know they may be i mean there was a talk or rumor saying that they may be converging into businesses that apple is heading into and and, and what could be more fun than that? Well, I, I, I mean, I, I, I get that the company is undervalued and it actually achieved record revenue this year. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm also mindful of uh, uh, companies like Unisem, which just two years ago, it was loss making and now... Uh, and to the tune of 105 million. But now they are back in the black, right? Yes, uh, that's I mean, because the sector is booming at the moment. Yeah, you know? I mean, if you look at the uh, Apple, for instance, right, they announced, they, I mean, Apple has said they announced into uh, smart cars, and I think this company, right, they actually uh, manufacture specialized uh, electronic devices um, since 1978, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, it's a good track record, 1978, with quite good earnings and with facility in, 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 in Pataling Jaya and also Penang as well. Well, on that note, Max, uh, we actually have to wrap up. So uh, the prospects and uh, earnings of Kasim actually remain quite great moving forward and it actually may be converging into businesses that Apple is headed into, uh, especially with smart cars. So uh, though the uh, prospects of the company are good, uh, traditionally semiconductor industries are actually very volatile, so investors need to actually keep that in mind. 